Science with me. My name is Dr. Erica with Rosie Research, and we are making some fun toilet paper circuits this week. We are doing some astronomy stuff. We're making a cute little Hubble. We're making a, um, a rocket ship. And in this lesson, we are going to make a little constellation projector. Now, we've seen these before. We sort of add a flashlight, and then up here, you've got the constellations, and they will project. But we are going to use our paper circuit skills to do the same thing. Now, this is going to come in two parts but from one toilet paper roll. So the first thing that you are going to do is you are gonna take your pen and use your battery to check how big of a piece you'll need. Oops, and just make like a mark above the battery. And that's gonna tell us how much we wanna sort of lop off the bottom. And from there, we're gonna get started. Although first, let's check out what we need. So we need a couple of white LEDs or if you want to use different colors, I have rainbow, which kind of could be cool on the wall. Maybe it'll make a rainbow constellation pattern, which will be fun. You need a CR2032 battery. You need two types of tape. I've got a scotch tape here, which is my non-conductive tape. It's a paper tape. You can use other things like a plastic tape, like, um, or I have masking tape here, sorry. I like scotch tape, scotch tape will work, or duct tape. And then I have a conductive tape, which is a metallic tape. That is my copper tape. I have some construction paper, a hot glue gun, just in case I need it. Of course, my toilet paper, and then some normal making supplies. All right, so we measured the battery. This is well above the battery for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up to that line, and then I'm gonna cut all the way around, cutting myself a nice strip of paper. All right, and we're gonna use this strip to sort of make like a little tea light candle, which is what the rest of this will sit on top of as we project our stuff. So you can cut that all the way around just like that. So now I have two pieces and this is the piece that's gonna stand on top and we'll add in our sort of constellation projections here. And then this will be the piece that will be on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is take your piece on the bottom, this nice flat little strip, and we are gonna add some copper tape to it. So grab your copper tape out and you're gonna take a little piece off, sort of like this. And what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go on the inside, doesn't really matter inside or outside, but I'm gonna, I figure since this is curved this way, it'll bend easier that way. And I'm going to take my piece of copper tape, just like this, and I am going to, let's first actually decide where I need to bend it. So I'm gonna put my battery and it will fold over like that. All right, so you can take your battery and you can just fold it over so that it covers your battery and then when you unfold it I'm gonna make a little mark right here this is where my fold was and then this is sort of where my battery is so my battery is gonna go inside of this little box right here and if you've done paper circuits from my downloads you'll notice I always put the battery in a little circle all right so what we're gonna do with our copper tape you're gonna get it started we're gonna put it straight down onto the cardboard I'm gonna put it, make sure it's inside of my circle, but not past this line right here, all right? So this line goes for the other side, so I gotta make sure I don't go past that line, but I am inside that circle. And I am going to put my piece of copper tape down like this. Now, if you're worried about having enough connection, what you could do is you could even add in another piece of copper tape on the bottom, and that's totally fine. You can make your legs of your LED touch both pieces or just one piece. It gives you a little bit of extra wiggle room. So maybe I'll add another piece up top. And maybe I decide, maybe I should add it on all sides. Maybe I'll do it on the bottom too. So I think actually maybe too thick is perfect. I'm gonna smooth it out with my thumbnail just to get it all nice and smooth for me. And now we are going to flip this over and we're gonna take some more of this right here. We're gonna get it started. And then this is gonna be the trickier one. So before, we just did a nice straight line. Here, we're also gonna do a straight line, but we need to make sure that we go around this corner. So we're gonna go around it. And the way I could do that is actually, I can start on this side. I can start it right up here. And I can paste it down. Now I'm not gonna rip it here. I don't wanna rip my copper tape. If it does rip, start it over from there. Make sure you don't go past that line because that's where the bottom of the battery is gonna be. All right, and then we are going to fold it around. So again, I'm not ripping it, it's just sort of going over that edge. 
And I'm going to go all the way down here. And it looks like I have lots of extra copper tape. So what I could do is I could actually bend mine and come back the other direction to make it sort of that extra thickness that we did on the inside. I could do it like that if I'd like to. There we go. All right. It won't give me extra on touching it, the top. Well, maybe it'll give me a little bit extra. All right, and I can, again, smooth this out with my thumb as well. All right, so now my plan is I'll put my little guy here and I'll press it in and then this can sort of coil around and we'll have a beautiful little thing of some white LEDs. So let's first double check that it works. So I'm gonna put my battery in. I'm going to pinch it. I can take any of my LEDs and I'm gonna check your LEDs have two legs. One leg is longer than the other. My long leg should go on the side without the battery. So here's my side with the battery and the long leg is the one that comes sort of and flips over. That should go on the outside. And when I press the two legs onto the copper tape, it works. Now, if I have it flipped over, it won't work. So if yours is not working, one thing you can do is you can try switching the direction of those legs. Beautiful, so this works. That tells me the battery works and the LED works and my circuit works. So this is fantastic news. If it's not working for you, something you can do is check over your copper tape. Make sure there's no rips in it anywhere. Um, and then also you could take your battery out and check just straight to the battery, does your LED work in one of the directions? Because again, it will only work in one direction. They're like one way streets. If it doesn't work, that tells you either your battery is not working or your LED is not working. So you could try a different LED first. If no LEDs work on the battery, you probably have a dead battery. All right, so I'm gonna come back in here and I'm going to tape my battery down with my non-conductive tape. So my masking tape is what I'm going to use here. And I can just take a little piece. You don't need a whole lot to tape it in. Now I'm making sure I don't tape over the top. So you can see, I, you can still see a lot of the gray metal. I need metal to metal contact as a highway for those little electrons to go on. If I put the scotch tape straight over the top, the electrons actually hit a wall and they can't get to the exits that have the LEDs and then the LEDs won't light up for me. All right, so another potential problem is if I bend this too much and these two pieces of copper tape touch each other right here, then I won't actually, the electrons will have a super fast, super easy pathway. They won't go through the LEDs because they'll just go straight from one to the other. So what you could do is once you have the battery tapes down is you could add a little bit of tape sort of to here to make sure that this doesn't connect later on. Now, if you wanted, you could just tape it down. That just makes it a little trickier if you ever decide you want a switch. Because right now our switch is sort of, when this is up, it's not touching the battery. So we have an open switch. And when this is down, it is touching the battery. So our switch would be closed. So right now we're using that as our actual switch. All right, so let's attach our LEDs. So I have some white LEDs. I'm gonna put the long leg on the outside. And to make a little bit better contact, what I'm gonna do with these LED legs is I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna grab both of them and bend them. So it almost looks like my LED is maybe like kind of can sit down or it looks like the shape of an L. All right, and both legs are bent. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna tape it in, making sure as I tape it that the leg is actually touching that copper tape. If it's up here and it's touching the cardboard, that's not gonna complete the circuit. The electrons won't see their LED exit and they won't be able to get onto it. I like to tape all of my legs down with non-conductive tape, masking tape, duct tape, scotch tape. I just find it works a lot better for the projects. They're a lot more sturdy. And I don't know about you, but I like it when my project stays working and sort of breaks quickly. So that works a lot better, I've noticed. All right, so now when I close this, you can see it sort of goes on. If it doesn't, you can sort of press a little harder and make sure that it's making a good connection. And I can add another one of these. Again, I'm going to take my LED and I am going to bend it into an L for a little bit better connections. There we go, and something, there we go. Yeah, 
All right, so let's tape this guy down as well. So again, I'm gonna make sure that the legs are touching that copper tape before I tape it down. I'm gonna use my non-conductive tape to tape it down. And now I sort of have my little flashlight piece. I could add some more if I wanted it to be brighter. I could add another one over here and that should work just fine. And what we'll end up doing is we'll just put this on top like that and we'll have basically a flashlight. Now to hold this in place while you're using it, you could either tape it down or you could pinch it down with um, like a binder clip or great things or paper clips or they work really, really nicely for that. All right, so let's see if I just tape this guy down. The tape will hold for me, and it does. So you can kind of see how we are going to create that. Oops, tape is breaking a little bit as we bend it. So maybe a binder clip is definitely going to be better here. But you can see how I've got those lights going on. So I'm going to take that out, and I'm going to turn it off for the moment. Although... Unfortunately, as I turned it off, I took that leg up, but that's okay. It will work again. I'm going to put this guy off to the side, and now we're going to make our pieces that go on the top so that we can project our constellations. So this is what you're going to do for each of your constellations. We're going to have a few different constellations. I attached on our Patreon our constellation cookies recipe, which has some suggested constellations you can use to make if you would like to. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to trace around my toilet paper tube. I'm gonna do this for each constellation I wanna make. So I'm gonna need a new disc for each constellation. And I'm gonna cut this circle out like that. So that this guy will fit right on top. And then I am going to take a piece of foil because right now you could leave it like this if you'd like. You could just sort of have it and you place them on and off. I kind of like the idea of having a little bit of foil that goes around these edges to help any light that's leaking, which will give you a little bit better of a show. So what I'm going to do is instead of actually cutting right around the circle, I'm going to cut a square that's a little bit bigger than my circle out of this foil. All right, and then I'm going to take just a little bit of glue and I'm going to glue this on like that. And this will let me sort of put this on and I can now fold down those edges if I'd like to and make it fit like really, really nicely. Or you could put it this way if you'd like to as well. You could always go this direction. It won't matter which way you go. So now we need to add our constellation. And if, let's just do the Big Dipper. So the Big Dipper is seven stars. We use it a lot for figuring out where we are. It's one of the most memorable things in the sky. And sort of folklore is that it sort of was what we used to drink out of. All right, so here we have our Big Dipper. Those are the stars of it, and I put them in. You guys will have a beautiful download to make some cookies that you can use to also make the other constellations on this. I'm gonna take the tape off of my other piece. I've got a little sharp Sharpie here that I can poke through. So you'll want to find something you can use to poke through. You gotta go through both layers, so both the foil and the paper, if you're doing foil and paper. And you'll do this again with each constellation you make. And we might even, if we want to, we can write the name of the constellation in there. Oops, I just ripped my foil. That guy was a little close to the edge. That's okay though. All right, we're gonna keep going. And you know what, maybe I will poke the holes in here it fell off the glue, so I'll poke the holes in the paper first and then I'll cut myself a new piece. Sometimes things don't always work out quite the way we would like to, and that's okay. We just do the best that we can. We fix the things that didn't work, and 
That is a lot of science in general, a lot of making, and a lot of life. All right, so let's cut out a new piece of foil. And again, if you don't want to use the foil, you absolutely don't have to. So let me try, mm, yeah, I'll try gluing again, why not? Let me try going like this. Maybe here we'll steer clear of the hole that we're gonna have to put in. I'm gonna glue it on. And now it should be pretty easy for me to poke through because I'm not poking through both at the same time. I'm just poking through the foil. And that will give me really nice pinpricks of light on my little constellation flashlight. All right, so now I have the Big Dipper. This is the way that we would see the Big Dipper in the sky. If I flip it over, I'm gonna have a reverse image. So make sure that as you're doing this, you probably wanna write on the top what you're looking at so that you know which side goes up as well. All right, and then I would turn on my light. Oops, let's get that guy there. And I would put it under in here and then I'll put this guy on top and I will get a beautiful big dipper on my walls, which will be a lot of fun. And this foil will just help keep any sort of stray light out. I hope that you guys have fun making this little project. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you also enjoy making some constellation cookies because that is a delicious way to learn about astronomy and our constellations at the same time. And you can find that over at patreon.com slash Rosie Research. All right, friends, we will see you soon. And we hope you had fun with us. Bye, friends.